the ambassador of Sweden to Ethiopia and Djibouti and permanent representative to AU, IGAD and UNECA. Then Mr. Robert Wosinje, representing the Deputy Executive Secretary, United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. Your Excellencies, Your Royal Highnesses, dear partners, CSOs, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. good morning. It gives me great pleasure to be making these opening remarks at the fifth conference on land policy in Africa, which has brought together experts around the globe, including representatives of the AU member states, traditional authorities, development and technical partners, academia, non-state actors, researchers, media, and all of you distinguished participants gathered as a collective force to address the critical issues surrounding land policies that are integral to our shared vision of sustainable development. This year, the conference focuses on promoting sustainable land governance in Africa for acceleration of the African continent free trade area. A critical continental agreement that seeks to eliminate tariffs and non-tariff barriers to trade in goods and services. I extend my sincere gratitude to the organizers for orchestrating this vital platform. And I commend the commitment of all the participating nations to engage in constructive dialogue on matters of profound importance. Our presence here today underscores the shared dedication to crafting policies that will shape the future of land management in our continent. In the context of land policies, Uganda, with its diverse landscapes and rich cultural heritage, holds a unique position. Our nation understands the, the intricate relationship between land, trade, and the well-being of our people. It is with this understanding that Uganda approaches the discussion ahead, recognizing the need for policies that will balance economic progress, environmental stewardship, but also social equity. As we deliberate over the next few days, I invite each one of you to join hands in finding innovative solutions to the challenges we face in land governance. Uganda is committed to contributing its experience and insights to the collective wisdom of the African Union land agenda. Our perspective is shaped by the belief that effective land management is not just a matter of policy, but it's a cornerstone of sustainable development that directly impacts on the livelihoods of our citizens. As we engage in the robust discussions, let us keep in mind the shared responsibility we bear to ensure that the policies we formulate are not only visionary, but also practical and implementable. Our deliberations should pave a way for policies that promote not only economic growth, but also environmental sustainability and social justice. I look forward to the collaborative spirit that will define our interactions over the next few days. May the outcomes of the conference be a testament 
to the collective commitment to creating a future where land policies are catalysts for positive change, driving sustainable environment and sustainable development, prosperity for all Africans by reflecting the good principles under the VGG, the, VGG, the VGTs and also SDGs. The policies must, must not only concentrate on securing land rights per se, but must integrate issues of climate change and mitigation of risks, planning of our cities and towns, provision of infrastructure for waste management, and greening of our cities, provision of strategies for youth to increase their access to land for productive use. Lastly, our land policies must reform our land justice system to reduce the backlog of land cases in our court systems. Thank you, and let us embark on this journey of shared knowledge and collaboration with renewed sense of purpose and determination. I thank you once again for listening to my statement and allow me at this point to declare the conference open for God and my country. <laughs>